Hello friends, my name is Akil. In this video, I'll show you how to create Arduino Bluetooth car. And let me try to explain the designing as well as the working of this project by using coming slides. So in this slide, you can see the block diagram what we are going to use for this project. And let me try to explain the blocks one by one. So the first block is the Bluetooth module, which is mainly responsible for establishing the connection between our Android mobile phone and the circuit what we are going to use. The second block is our Arduino Uno, which is the central processing unit for this project. And it will be controlling and coordinating all the other blocks that is present on our circuit. And the third block is our DC motor driver. But let me try to explain the block 4 and block 5 before getting to block 3. And these two blocks are our DC motors, that is DC motor 1 and DC motor 2. And Arduino will be deciding the direction of rotation of these two DC motors. But Arduino cannot provide the operation voltage to rotate these two DC motors by alone. So that's the reason we use DC motor driver and DC motor driver will be providing the essential working voltage to rotate these two DC motors. Let me talk a little bit about the Android application that we are going to use for this project. So this application can be downloaded from the Android Play Store and I'll tell you how it can be downloaded in the later session. Now let me explain the working of this project by using this block diagram. So in this block diagram, let me take an example. Suppose we press the forward button that is present on the application. So whenever you press a button, a value will be sent by the Android application and it will be received by the Bluetooth module and it will be further sent to Arduino Uno for processing. So in this case, the value received is F and we have told Arduino like whenever the value received is F, then the Arduino has to set the digital pins 10 to 13 in such a way that both the DC motors should rotate in forward direction. Same like we are using other values to control other direction as well. So that's all about the working of this project. Now let me move to the components required. So as we have already seen in the block diagram, we need Arduino Uno, the motor driver L293D, Bluetooth module HC05 and two DC motors. Apart from that, we need connection wires as well as breadboards to interconnect all these components. And you can purchase all these components from uh, the third party vendors like Amazon, eBay, etc. Now let me move to the circuit diagram. I'm not going to explain each and every part in order to shorten the length of this video. But of course, I'm going to cover the major parts. Uh, so in this uh, circuit diagram, you can see the transmit pin of the Bluetooth module is connected with the receive pin of Arduino Uno. Same like the input pins M1A, M1B, M2A, M2B are connected to digital pin of Arduino Uno 10 to 13 respectively and uh, we have connected our DC motors to the output section of our DC motor driver and we are using a 9 volt battery to operate the circuit. So let me try to explain the codes what I am going to use for this project. So as you can see in the first four lines. I have named my digital pins 10 to 13 as M1A, M1B, M2A, M2B respectively and I declared all these digital pins as output pins and I set the board rate for the serial communication as 9600. Let me explain the loop. So whenever the serial port of Arduino receives a value which is greater than 0 then that value will be stored and action will be taken according to the value received. Suppose if the value received is F, then the digital pins of Arduino will set in such a way that the motors will start rotating in forward direction. Same like if the value received is B, then the motor motors will start in backward direction. Same like I have written another functions like for rotating left, rotating right, stopping motors, rotating forward right, rotating backward right, rotating forward left, 
rotating backward left etc so you can refer the program so once you're done with the program then you can connect your arduino uno with the usb port of your laptop and click on the upload button that will start uploading the sketch to your arduino so you can see the uploading is done now you are ready to connect the components with your arduino uno